This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good morning. We're coming on the air right now because we have just learned from Buckingham Palace that Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth, has died at the age of 99. A statement from the palace has been made. It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. We want to go right to Maggie Rooley at Buckingham Palace this morning. Maggie. Hi, George. Good morning. Yeah, just behind me, that flag was lowered to half staff just moments ago. The palace releasing that statement with their deep sorrow. And George standing here, it really does. It feels like the end of an era here in Britain, around the Commonwealth and the country. After decades with the Queen uh, standing by her side, the two of them together shaping what the country and the Commonwealth would look like today. The palace, as you just read, confirmed again moments ago that Philip passed away. He's 99, just two months shy of his 100th birthday. Now, we did learn he was able to spend his final days at home in Windsor Castle with the Queen by his side. That's where he's been for about the last three weeks or so after being released from the hospital where he was staying for a month undergoing a heart procedure as well as other medical care. Uh, now, again, the country is mourning, asking what we are going to do next. You know, normally a norm, uh, royal funeral would be something that's commemorated widely throughout the country, throughout the UK. But this one, George, it's going to look a little bit different. We're still waiting for details, but, you know, due to coronavirus restrictions, the country here in the UK is still under a strict lockdown. Things will definitely look a little smaller. But, George, certainly, whatever the size of these celebrations of his life, Prince Philip will be remembered. The legacy will be remembered because, wow, George, what a life he led. 99 years, and all of them were full. More than 2,000 solo engagements, 20,000 solo engagements, more than 2,000 visits in the UK and overseas. I mean, he packed so much life into his 99 years, shaping what the UK would look like today shaping again what the Commonwealth would look like today. So a legacy that will be remembered. And of course, also looking to the Queen during this time, they were side by side together as they led this country. And George, I think of her right now because this is the first time today in this moment that she is going to be leading the country without her partner by her side. He once George. told a friend, okay, Maggie, thanks very much. This is my destiny to support my wife and what lies ahead. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.